Alright, Nemi and Morel, she's not the ninth member of After School. I believe the ninth member's name is Yi Young. Yi Young, I think. But that's totally irrelevant because Nami and Muro, she has just been amazing me with I think it is she it is her comeback album, I think. But she's been amazing me with all these wonderful collaborations that she's done. Starting with um Wonder Woman featuring Tsuchiya Ana and I personally I'm not a fan of I it's nothing against her just I just she's just not my cup of tea I love Tsuchiya Anna I think she's amazing with her slicked back blonde hair in this she sort of reminds me of like Boa but more badass and I just love how like pissed off she looks all the time the song I I like it a lot I'm trying I don't know I thought because to me Tsuchiya Anna and Namie Muro and not really I but those two they represent the sort of I don't know, this independent woman, I can be fine on my own, especially Chia Anna. But I was kind of surprised, I think, I'm not sure because I don't totally know Japanese, but I think that's how it didn't end up panning out. It, because the English part that I did understand was, I'll be your Wonder Woman and I'll never let you down, and I'm like, oh, okay. The music video I'm not really a fan of either. Because I think it's hard to pick a like a theme for a video with those three people who are basically on different spectrums on different ends of Japan stuff of the music industry. So they were just like, okay, let's take you guys in a parking garage, and one of you will be walking, and one of you will be in a car, and one of you will be in an elevator, and then we'll switch, and then we'll switch again, and then this is my favorite part actually, not because it's like, oh god, good, it's all over. It's I just I like this part when the elevator opens up and reveals the three of them together in the elevator. I really wish they had worked with that and then all three of them come out of the elevator and all three of them act like the badasses that they are. I really wish they would have done something with the three of them together. I personally did not understand why one was walking and then one would sit in a car and then one would go in an elevator and then the, they would switch around. It just... I don't know. I know I was trying to show different views. Like perspective views, camera views, whatever, of the three girls, but another collaboration that had originally had me making this video was with her and After School, and if you don't know who After School are, they are a eight person, now nine person, uh, K-pop girl group, so this actually fits in K-pop as well. I've never had that happen, J-pop, J-rock and K-pop. Weird. I'm trying, I'm horrible because I'm trying to figure- okay, I know who Nana is, I know who Reina is, I know who Lizzie is because they did Orange Karma, which I didn't really like, but they're all so adorable. I know who Kahi is, because she's got like a really bold- I don't know, I don't want to call it a masculine face, she's got a masculine jawline, but I can tell her part. Um, her and Becca kind of look alike, I'm forgetting a bajillion- no, I'm forgetting three other girls and I honestly don't know who they are in after school. Um, I have no idea. This is why I- keep saying they should have stayed eight members, not because they'd be like SNSD who had nine members first, anyway, but anyway. Um, it, I, they started, did you know that after school started out with five members, and then they did six, which was fine, and then they did eight, which is like, okay, that's interesting. The symmetry that they show in Make It Happen, which is the video that they're in with Nami Amuro, it shows that they just should have eight members. Like, the symmetry, excluding Nami Amuro because she's in the middle, but still. The sim I love the choreography for some weird reason. I love it because it shows symmetry and it shows just the girls being confident but sexy. I also love the fact that Namiya Amoro is such like a badass that she doesn't even stand for any of her choreography. She sits in a chair, but she still performs it like a, the J-pop diva that she is. I love it. While the other girls are standing in boxes, like they're dolls or something, and they're bo in boxes and they're shutting their stuff in the boxes and Nami is just like, yeah, I'll do it and then show my stuff. Yeah, sitting down. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this song a lot for unknown reasons. I'm, this is how collaboration should be because when I think of featuring, they open up with the music video and they show the girls in, um, of after school in pairs and then the end is Nami and Moro sitting down like a badass. Um, 
but then they show them singing little parts, which honestly, they didn't sound that good singing until they got to the chorus with after school, but they, like, that's how I thought, that's all I thought that they would do. I didn't think they'd actually get the chorus to it, I thought they'd just be there for show for Namie because she's, no offense, but she's more popular than after school. But they actually got more parts than that, and I was really shocked, and I thought to myself, this is a really good collaboration. This is what a collaboration should be. It shouldn't be like three lines and then that's it. And I really want to see them perform this live because this is literally after school took a very unique approach to this. They approached a big star in Japan and they didn't decide to go the route of pretty much everybody else and say, hey, let's try for a Japanese single of our own and or a remake of a Korean single and hope it does okay. They said, no, we're going straight to Namie, who's been in the industry for years, and Avex who is the, the label that uh, Namie Muro is with, and we're going to release something with her and have us ourselves know. I don't know. It was a unique approach to the Japanese market, which I really, really like. But they all look so, like, they look so pretty, but they look so, like, hardcore, too. It's kind of hard to explain unless you watch the video, which is, to my knowledge, not on YouTube. It's on Daily Motion, I think. Namie is actually also been in some collaborations with other artists including Verbal who I think Verbal is like a hip hop artist in Japan who's pretty much worked with everybody <laughs> like literally everybody and he has something with Lil, Lil Wayne and Namie Moro and I hate Lil Wayne I hate him hate him I 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 just hate him if you didn't know um, but hey, maybe Namiya can make everybody forget the fact that shitty little Wayne is on there, so. And they call the track Unusual. This is the name of the newest track with um, from her collaboration album. It features uh, their boy band, the Japanese boy band News. It's, his name is Yamashita Tomohisa, who actually just premiered on M Countdown in South Korea with one of his songs, um, Party Don't Stop, which... Uh, it's like, I think SDN48, they did that too because part of their lyrics for Gaga Ga was in Korean, so they got to promote there. But it's a, it's really hard to break it to the Korean market, especially if one of your songs is total Japanese, so the fact that they did that was really, really awesome, and I watched it, he's very, very good, very good podcast. Um, the track definitely shows promise, I really want to see a music video for it, because that'd be, you know, it'd be like the... The, the the three the triangle three of collaborations with J-Rock, K-Pop, and another J-Pop artist. It'd be so amazing. And most people focus on like Utari Karu, Hamasaki Ayumi, uh, Ami Suzuki. I mixed the name up with that, but they. I love Nami Amura for a while. Her talent is really something extraordinary, and she doesn't have to use a high pitched voice to prove that she has you know, a great voice. And this collaboration album itself is, well, people m might call it, you know, work on something on your own, da -da 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 -da, but I really like the idea that she's doing a collaboration album because look at how like su successful she is so far. I really want to see her do some live performances with Anna Suchia Anna and I, or After School, or um, Yamashita Tomohisa. I want to see it. I want to see live. Oh, I'm really excited though. Namie, God, I love her. Um, I want to see lives, but I'm content with this so far. And now I'm going to listen to Make It Happen Again, and I suggest you all do too because it's so great, and this was a really weird video, huh? I combined like three different genres, and that's weird, but that's okay because it's Namie Muro. Badass extraordinaire, kinda, yeah. <laughs>